Good morning and welcome. Pacer Radio News Hour on this hump day. Happy Wednesday. Inauguration day so far. So good, I guess, if that's the word. Uh, the president, President Trump, has left the Oval Office. Joe Biden getting ready to be sworn in. And so far, anyway, I'm not seeing... Uh, Anything too crazy out there, uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you updated. A big rally in the gold and silver markets, and it's just one of many to come. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, outside of the Biden-Trump thing, okay? And whether we like it or not, at least as it appears to be right now, right, Joe Biden's the next president of the United States. That alone, that alone is probably worth, I don't know, $1,000 of gold, right, and higher in price. Um, Kamala Harris is now going to be the vice president, and I've said it a few times. That's the one we got to worry about. I don't think uh, Joe Biden's going to make it out of this term. I, he's too old. Uh, he doesn't have the faculties, let's face it. Uh, how do you think it's going to go as he's talking to world leaders, talking about uh, hairy legs and not knowing what day of the week it is and not even knowing, uh, can't keep the numbers straight and doesn't even know his name half the time? I mean, it's not going to be great. And this is what a lot of people are preparing for, and I understand that. Uh, it has been an absolute madhouse. Listen, uh, I, I'm just going to let you know, prices are up and they're way up. Uh, the the gold availability, uh, th this is as bad, if not worse, uh, than when we had COVID in the shutdown. Uh, the, the silver side of things, uh, barely hanging on. Uh, so if you if you're looking to get in, it, it whatever we've got is what we've got, and that's all there really is to it. 800-951-0592, The website at allamericangold.com. Uh, you know, you can make that part of your daily routine. Don't forget uh, thirteen sixty KHNC, right? The radio station in Colorado that we own. Uh, make sure you check out the blog. We had another guy, another blogger talking about the music industry. You know, all these little industries you don't necessarily think of right away. Uh, the music industry, you know, it's just $50 billion. And, of course, you know, uh, you're talking about concerts and, and all of these things. And, and it's amazing uh, all the things when you really think about it. Uh, my wife uh, just got back from Illinois. You know, my son is... Uh, finishing his junior year of college up there and she's like everything's locked down there you know it, it, Arizona you know and you get fooled you know Arizona's open but states like Colorado California you know, they're, they're not open and and it really is interesting when we think about it and uh, uh hold on I gotta I gotta say something to the girls sorry about that we're uh, processing things and I'm getting alerts and codes and all this stuff. We, we got orders coming in every direction. Uh, really good news. Uh, the, the early 2021 silver yield shipments are gone. Those have been done. Uh, we will be caught up here in the Phoenix office as early as today. Worst case scenario tomorrow. Uh, anybody that that's, uh, has uh, orders uh, outstanding that don't involve 2021 Silver Eagles are all going to be out. And a lot of you uh, that did order 21 Silver Eagles, uh, you're getting your silver. And some of you that we told a week ago, uh, hey, it was going to be three weeks to a month, you may be getting some. Some of you are not. You know, it, it was close. A few people uh, did get the... Uh, it's going to be a month. If you order today and you want Silver Eagles, they're $630 a roll and plan on it being a month. If it's less than that, great. Junk Silver, we can get it and we can get it quickly. Uh, we can normally have Junk Silver uh, 
here in, a, in about a 72-hour window. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And the price per ounce uh, is cheaper. So, uh, you know, and, and again, junk silver, utility silver, uh, the, that that is available and we can get them and, and do all those things. Uh, but, but that's just what's happening. When we get back, I'm not going to focus on the inauguration. I'm going to focus in on what is going to happen when it comes to the dollar over the next four years. Okay, this is what we're going to be focusing in on this show. This is why you're putting gold and silver away. This is why uh, we're doing all of those things. And, and we'll be doing that when we return uh, 800-951-0592. Don't, don't be surprised. There, there's going to be uh, very few specials, uh, at least for uh, the foreseeable future. Uh, gold demand is absolutely gone through the roof. Uh, right now, gold's up about 25 bucks uh, silver's up about 45 cents uh, gold back through its 100 and 200 day uh, moving averages you know for the technical stuff uh, if gold clears 1880 uh, then, then all all bets are off uh, for for it and again if it clears 1880 right we'll be back above 1900 heading towards 2000 uh, but when we return we'll start talking about the dollar where it's heading, right, which we already know down, right? How fast is the fall, though? That's going to be the part that we're really going to address today. Patriot Radio News Hour, don't touch that dial. Well, the inauguration ceremony is beginning at the top of the hour. At the top of the hour, uh, Joe Biden will be sworn in, him and Kamala Harris. Then we'll get a inauguration speech uh, right now i think we've got more national guard troops than we actually have people at the inauguration uh and again listen joe biden's got a lot of problems and i'm not talking just about his mental competency i'm not talking about uh if he actually uh won the election and, and uh, the divided nation i mean None of those things help. They don't. And and I'm going to say this, and, and if that upsets some of you, you know, so be it. But even if Donald Trump had remained president, he faced the same problem. Right? We allowed for our bankers to be put in charge, and they've devastated us, Period. And, and and I'm I'm just telling you right now, inflation is roaring. And wait, just wait, what you see over the next several months—it's incredible. I mean, steel prices through the roof, lumber prices through the roof, land prices through the roof. Every single major food commodity, and when you're talking about soybeans, corn, uh, wheat, rice, right? All of them just just going absolutely crazy. I mean, copper. Copper approaching $4 a pound. I mean, th these are things that, again, and they're sitting there trying to say inflation isn't coming. It's coming. And what's coming with it is uh, the dollar taking this stair step down. So we, we've, here's what we've got in the, for the dollar. Right now, the dollar's at about 90 on the, you know, exchange rate. Just below 89. So that's, you know, about a point away. Is support. You know, again, the, the, the computer-generated support for the dollar. We touch that support like a week and a half ago. And it bounced off. But the dollar has lost 13% since March. That's a big move. But it can be much bigger than that. 
it has staged almost no significant rallies. Uh, the rallies that we've seen have been weak and very shallow, uh, very much like the one we've seen over the last uh, week. Remember the 10-year note almost got to 1.2%? Re I remember, I, and we're talking about uh, the bond market problem. The dollar barely, barely rallied. Heck, it didn't even get above 91. And now the 10-year the note's about 1.1%, but the dollar uh, is not looking very healthy. And, and again, for a lot of reasons, right? Primarily, the amount of dollars being created. Right, whether it's the central bank every day, uh, whether it's the government every day, you know, stimulus number. I don't even know what stimulus number this is. Right, uh, we we've got the nine hundred billion, we've got the one point nine trillion, then we got the the go big Janet Yellen number, and, and now we're we're looking at okay, where are the breakdowns? And this is the part that gets interesting. There is very critical support just below the $89 or the 89 point level on the dollar. There's only been two times in the last 50 years that the dollar's broken this line of support. There was the obviously the 2008 financial crisis, right? We, we remember that, right? Where uh, the dollar actually went uh, to the last level of support. So there's only a couple of levels of support left. If it breaks uh, below, let's call it 88. Let's give it a little room. It's really 88 and change, like 8870 uh, is the real number. If it breaks 88 in change, the next level of support for the dollar doesn't come until about 79.80. So you think about another 10% drop before we find any real chance of, of some kind of a rally of any significance on the dollar. The next level of support is the all-time low, about 72.40. That's all there is. When we talk about you know, uh, the, the Biden administration. And we know that we're going to get aggressive dollar creation, aggressive spending, and all of those things. And forget about, you know, really, forget about all the other stuff. Forget about a nation divided. Forget about the fact that he's incompetent. Forget about all the other things that there's 21,000 National Guard troops at the inauguration. Forget about states like California and Illinois and New York are still locked down. And filter out all the noise. Whether whether you want wanted or thought that they've stolen the election doesn't matter. It doesn't. The fact of the matter is, the bankers have put us on a very very clear path. Janet Yellen, in her testimony yesterday, said that the dollar. should be competing against everybody else and wherever it is, it is. Right? That, that it, we're not looking for a weak dollar. We're not looking for a strong dollar. We're just saying, hey, wherever, wherever it is, it is.
A decade and a half ago, no central banker worth their salt would have told you that they wanted anything other than a strong dollar. Remember Larry Kudlow? Oh, yeah, dollar. King dollar. King dollar. King dollar. He said it every day at Infinitum on TV. It was nauseating. I don't say that anymore. Just like they don't talk about balanced budgets or anything else, right? Republicans spend like Democrats and Democrats spend like socialists. So when we're looking at what we are forecasting here, very likely we're going to see a dollar in the potentially in the 70s before the end of 2021. And when you start to think about how big the deficit could be, and remember, again, all as we can go by Treasury Secretary, soon to be the new Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, wants to go big. So are we staring at a $4 trillion, $5 trillion, $6 trillion deficit? For 2021, the question really is, is if we break 7240, where do we go? And this is really, when you think about the old all-time high in gold was in, in that 70s cycle, right? When, when gold first hit that 1900, of course, that was... Uh, what was that 2011? Something like that. What's it going to be this time around? You know, and I, I was talking about yesterday. I'm not talking about gold going to 2300 or 3000. It's not what we're talking about. Normally, when we see a dollar, the dollar break all-time lows, you get at least a doubling or a tripling of the gold price. So are we going to see four, five thousand dollar gold? Absolutely. Are we going to see six, seven, eight, ten thousand? It's it's probable. It's likely. I'm not. I don't. Do we get there? We'll see. Now, I remember Eric used to always talk about, right, he thinks, he, th he thinks they were going to see 20000 But when we look at the dollar chart, it's not a very good chart. And what I mean by that is there's not a lot of places for the dollar to stage any significant rally. The first place is you know 88 and change and we hit that a few weeks ago and the dollars barely barely rallied. matter of fact the only reason it even rallied at all was because the bond market got out of line and even then didn't go very far so i'm i'm really confident once we get stimulus once we like, we get through this inauguration everyone starts focusing in on wait what right everyone loves you know the stimulus part but they're not going to love all the other parts of it and it's coming and then when they start talking about the next round of stimulus i think we're going to see that that dollar just blow through it and remember how we talked about all the time i say hey you know how did you go bankrupt it was gradual at first, and then it was suddenly, and I'm worried about the suddenlies. And I think this is why you're seeing 
all of this money coming into the gold markets. And I'm looking at, at paper gold, you know, paper gold. These guys are trying to trying to give you, oh, no, we love Joe Biden. He's going to be great, and it's fine. Don't worry. Everything's okay. We got a, a COVID vaccine, and, and, and the, the economy's going to open back up. Don't you worry. And I'm going to tell you, the great opening back up is going to be a big thud. Most of these places, they're done. Right? This is kind of like uh, what the bankers did uh, in 1933. You know, and this was all, all, all part of the plan. Thousands and thousands and thousands of banks were not allowed to reopen after they shut the banks. Why? Because the big banks that created the Federal Reserve, you know the names, the Rothschilds, the, the Warburgs, right? The Rockefellers, right? Those guys wanted you to have to be forced to put the money into their bank. And think about it now. Think how brilliantly their plan has worked. 90% of all the deposits are in like 10 banks. That's it. I mean, we only got we got we don't even have five thousand banks in the country anymore. Pizza Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Let's give perspective. They created the central bank in nineteen thirteen. Of course, we know the bankers had been conspiring illegally, meeting in secret buying, either buying or marrying into Congress and creating the third version of a central bank. And of course, in 20 years, we had the Great Depression right? when they took the gold from us, the citizenry, then it took them another almost 40 years to take it away from all the foreign governments that were buying our debt. And from 1971, gold has been allowed to f freely trade. See, before that time, they always set the price of gold and, and it wasn't allowed to move. Gold was $42. In 1971. And at today's current price, $1,865, gold's up over 44 times since 1971. The Dow was at 900. The Dow's now at 31,000 and change. The Dow's only up. 34 times. Kind of interesting, isn't it? You mean to tell me over the last 50 years, gold's actually outperformed the Dow? Uh-huh. And it's actually not that close. If if gold was at an all-time high at 2100, it'd be up 50 times. Since it's been allowed to compete. And speaking of it, what's changed? Has, has the gold piece changed? Did the St. Gaudens get new and improved? Right? Did they, they put anti-lock brakes and rear view mirrors and, and backup cameras and, and air conditioning? I mean, power steering, did they add that to the gold piece? No. The liberty is still a liberty. A saying is still a state. Well, how can it be that it was only $42 in 1971, and today, if you want to buy one, it's going to be cost you 2175 bucks. And the answer is very simple. The dollar in 1971, take a $100 bill. 
course, that would have been uh, what I call the shrunken head presence. Remember now you wait, we got when they've changed the uh, the pictures and the color of our money a bunch of times lately, right? Getting us used to it, uh, just kind of being uh, phony baloney, right? A hundred dollars in 1971 has now been debased by our bankers by 98%. And essentially what they what that means is, and this is it's astonishing when you think about it. That's like two dollars today. That's what happened to your hundred bucks. Right? It only buys what $2 bought in 1971. This is the amount of debasement. This is what they call a stable dollar. And remember, I just told you earlier, the dollar chart is it's a tough chart. I think we're going to see some rapid declines in the dollar during this Biden administration. You know, these gradual, gradual, wham, gradual, gradual, wham. And these whams, right, you're going to see days where the dollar or gold's up a couple hundred, two, three, four, five hundred dollars weeks, uh, where you're going to see gold jump four, five, six hundred, maybe a thousand dollars in a week. That's what's that's what's coming. Because for 50 years, they've been debasing the value of your money. And I tell the story a lot. Go back to like 1900. Your great, great grandparents. And they had five $20 bills and five $20 gold pieces, which would have made them pretty rich back then. You got, you got $200 back in 1900. You were a somebody. And they, they put it in the wall of their house. They, put it, they made sure it wasn't going to get wet, and they, they, then they put it in the wall. And then they handed it down to your grandparents and then your parents. And, and now finally you've got it and you're, you're, you're just blowing it out, right? You're, you're opening up the walls and you're doing this and that. And when you do it, you find this, you find it a box, a little tin box. And you open it up and you see the five $20 bills and the five $20 gold pieces. They are worth the exact same in 1900. They were interchangeable before the central bankers got a hold of it. One of those, one of them is worth $10,000. The other one is worth a hundred bucks, right? And we, you know, the gold is now worth ten thousand dollars, and the fiat paper is still only a hundred dollars. And the problem is that hundred dollars that's been debased. <laughs> 99.99%. You, you probably uh, could have bought with one dime what $100 buys today with a dime, maybe a nickel. And, and this is really what we're talking about. And now I'm telling you, get ready for the next super cycle down in this dollar, this dollar debasement. We're getting ready for the suddenly. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. 800 And, you know, you think about gold, 
There's not that much gold out there. Look at Fort Knox. Fort Knox, not that big. <laughs> most of it is hallways and offices. I mean, we store uh, most of our gold there, if it's there. We assume it is. They say we've got 8,000 metric tons of gold. Well, that sounds like a lot. After the Great Depression, when they took all the gold from the citizenry, we had over 20,000 metric tons. And I've told the story a bunch of times. All, all the foreign governments decided, hey, don't pay us in dollars. We, we'll take gold. And that's why they closed the gold when we were running out of gold. When we're going to have any gold left. And the gold that remains, most of it is allegedly the gold, pre-1933 gold, that they melted into these bricks, that they didn't take out the imperfections, and uh, they call it ugly gold, but there it is. And just to let you know what a metric ton is in gold, it's 32,000 150 ounces. Right? And a lot of people, if you ever seen the movies with these gold bricks, right? They're like 400 ounces of gold. You know, they're, they're, no one really uh, walks around with gold bricks, but any, in any event, 32,150 ounces or about 257 million ounces of gold is what the United States claims to hold. Now remember, our currency used to be backed by gold, dollar for dollar. $20 gold piece, $20 bill, could trade them out. We went 100 plus years with no inflation. Matter of fact, we became a superpower when our currency was gold. Now, of course, if you listen to the idiots on the television set, they'll say, oh, we can't go back to the gold standard. There was a lot of problems with the gold standard. You know, the biggest problem was the bankers couldn't rape and pillage you. That was really it. What big problem? Are you kidding me? Do you, have you heard about the stock market crashes of the 1800s? Uh-uh. No. Hear about any hyperinflation or banking crises? Uh-uh. As a matter of fact, the, the Knickerbocker crisis of 1907. Right? Rich People's Bank made a bad bet on copper and lost and went under. And that was their reasoning for needing a central bank. But all they've done is destroy. Destroy your labor, destroy your value. And now, $50,000 a year, you're not, you're, not only are you not wealthy, right? you're, you're not even middle class at 50000 a year. They've created so much paper. Do you know what the price of gold would have to be to get back to that one-to-one -one value? In other words, hey, for every every twenty dollars printed, we got a twenty-dollar gold piece, right? What, what would the value of gold have to be? B about seventy thousand dollars an ounce. This is what they've done. They took a, a ounce of being $20, and they've created so much fake paper, it's now $70,000. And oh, by the way, right, we're getting ready to add, I don't know, let's call it another five trill, five trillion to, to the number. So probably, probably by the end of 2021, probably be about $80,000. Uh, so can the price of gold go to $5,000, $10,000, $20,000? Absolutely. And, and the problem is the way we're heading, 
right? It's very possible. 2025, we, we're probably going to be looking at, what, about a $50 trillion uh, national debt, a Fed balance sheet, I don't know, 20, 30 trillion. And this is what's going to usher in, like I said, the digital currency, but not before you get wiped out. Having your some of your assets in gold and silver are going to prevent you or save you from at least getting that part of it wiped out. And if you have enough of it, right, it'll it'll make up for the losses that you had in all these other bubblicious debt markets. And and I don't care if it's Wall Street, the housing, right, uh, the 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 treasury markets, you name it. Uh, it's one big giant bubble backed by what? A piece of paper with pretty colors on it. I don't even know if they're pretty colors, right? I mean, green and blue and maybe a little yellow in there, right? I mean, that's all it is. And the problem is the rest of the world is telling you that they don't believe that the quote-unquote perceived value of the dollar backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government is worth it anymore. And they're all backing away from the table very slowly, right? very slowly at first. But get ready. They're getting ready to run. Patriot Radio News Hour, final segment coming up. 800 uh, It's official. They did it a little early. Looks like uh, Joe Biden uh, has been inaugurated as the uh, President of the United States. Uh, gold is up 30 right now. Uh, 1870 silver's up 50 cents, $25 uh, and 80 cents. I, I didn't think there would be any specials and I lied. Uh, we, we just got one, just, just got in. These are going to be AU $20 liberties. So AUs being almost uncirculated. These things are going to be really nice. Same price as a circulated $20 liberty day. Today, two thousand one hundred seventy-five dollars. Uh, I've got a hundred of them, and here's the thing: I don't have any circulated twenties. There's not a hundred VF or XF twenties out there. Uh, this is this is it here today, and and they put them on sale. Pick them up. $2,175 and put them away and just get ready and wait. Because right now people are, you know, they've pushed back from the dollar, right? They, they, they've they had their fill, right? They just gorge themselves. They had that big meal. They push back their themselves from the table. They're starting to stand up. They're starting to walk away. And pretty soon they're going to be running. And you better have your financial house in order before that happens. AU $20 Liberties, $2,175. Uh, U.S. Silver Eagles, three to four weeks. That's $630 a roll. Uh, for me, for my money, I'm buying half dollars, quarters, or dimes because uh, they're just less expensive. Uh, rolls of half dollars, two hundred and twenty. Uh, rolls of quarters, two fifteen, and and so rolls of silver dimes. Uh, they're going to be half that, eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. If you've never ordered before, you need you know you need to call. Get it over with. Listen, I'm telling you. We got the, the nicest staff here, Brooke, Brittany, Arlene. They're going to take their time with you. There's no baiting and switching. There's no, there's no complications. This isn't complicated. Just tell them, hey, I want the special. And they're just going to ask you how many, right? And they'll walk you through the process. Uh, we take personal checks, bank wires. Uh, we take Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. You got to pay the credit card fee if you use that, though. 
You know, you know, you know how it is. It is what it is. There's not, you know, our margins aren't that big. Um, and then, of course, if you want to use cash, while well, you still can. Uh, we got an office here in Phoenix in the Deer Valley Air Park. And then, of course, an office up there in Johnstown, Colorado, uh, where you can do that as well. 800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News Hour. Oh, by the way, don't forget uh, the CBD. I, I meant to, to say this, too. Yesterday, you know, we want to sell 10 a day to support the radio station. Yesterday, we sold seven. Today, we've already sold nine, so we're well on our way. Uh, and by the way, I, my kind, we were talking with them. They have won more awards for their products than just about anybody. Uh, it's great products. Take advantage of it. 1360KHNC.com. God bless everybody. Have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow.